from uh, what you'd say likely uh, or similar types of leadership. Uh, not entirely, but there are some similarities in the style of leadership from the United States to Uganda. The story that we mentioned, heads of different law enforcement and security agencies in Uganda have warned politicians and members of the public against fomenting any form of chaos during next week's presidential and parliamentary elections. During a joint security briefing at police headquarters in Kampala yesterday, the inspector general of police, Koth Ochola warned that the security forces will do all it takes to keep law and order before, during, and after the elections. The police boss has also warned that the media is not exempt from the strict law enforcement measures to be put in place and in fact saying, and he was quoted by the Daily Monitor, that he is in, in fact, they're beating the journalist to protect them from not wandering off to other areas that they would get into danger. Only in some areas would you hear this kind of thing. Now, Bobby Wine, the leader of opposition, has already asked the International Criminal Court to investigate the president, Yoerim Seveni, of human rights abuses leading up to the elections and over the last few months you have witnessed and you've seen the stories where many people have been injured and lost their lives as the leadership has used its iron uh, hand to come down hard on any form of dissent. And this is uh, in the next week, actually, on the, by the 16th, we'll be uh, having that election in uh, Uganda. And it's something that we'll be having a partnership with uh, the NTV Uganda team to bring the very latest and make sure that you're uh, kept up to speed. And this is for a leadership that is trying to stay on over 30 years in power. Actually, the length of my lifetime in, in, in this world, the president has been there and he still wants to hold on and is not taking any opposition, uh, not taking it lightly or in any small way. So Sudir Bieruhanga, uh, the NTV Uganda security and investigative reporter, has been following up this uh, very development. And it's very sad that the police uh, would actually openly say that they will attack the fourth estate. And here's his account. Since the November riots that claimed the lives of over 50 people, there have been major concerns about the possibility of violence on the days leading to, during, and immediately after the election slated for 14th January. Today, the Inspector General of Police, the Deputy Commander of Land Forces, the Commissioner General of Prisons and the Ministers of Defense and Internal Affairs address the country on the status of security and what plans they have to secure the election. The Inspector General of Police Martin Zokotho Chola said that under the Interagency Security Master Plan, they will not allow any form of violence fanned by politicians and their supporters. I would like to assure the, the, the whole country that whoever foments trouble will regret why his or her mother gave birth to him or her. Ochola highlighted that there have been information that some presidential candidates are already doubting the outcome of the election. We have a multi-layered security response of patrol groups on foot, motorcycles, and patrol vehicles. We have practiced active drills on several scenarios, including violent riots, radical youth groups, cyber harassment, clashes between rival groups, and so on. The police chief also warned that there is enough space in Uganda's prisons to keep those who will be arrested for causing chaos. We shall harvest them and act firmly. We have space. Uh, I would say of about 30,000. In other words, uh, we are outpouring 200%. Although some politicians have been telling their supporters to stay at the polling stations to guard their vote, Deputy Police Chief Major General Paul Lokech has said that will not be entertained. And this we want to put it very, very clear to everybody. You need to vote and go home. Of course, they have guidelines about the agents, the few agents which are supposed to be there to represent their parties. But uh, any act of hooliganism within the polling stations will always not be uh, acceptable. 
when asked about apologizing to journalists for the brutality against them in the previous operations. This was Ochola's response. Actually, it is the contrary. It is the media targeting security. The media would like to portray security as being brutal, as being against the government itself. I think this is very unfortunate that we must put it clear. I'm very sorry, excuse me, we shall not apologize. The IGP further asserted that journalists will be beaten if they cross the line. We are telling you there's a danger there. For you, you are insisting you must go where there's a danger. Yes, we, we shall beat you for your own sake. Other officers weighed in on the issue of the media. Presidential candidate sitting on top of a vehicle and none, even my friend Sudir, cannot even criticize and say this is wrong. Supposing you fall out and you die, whom are you going to, to, to blame? I have never seen any of the media houses coming out to criticize the traffic offenses being created uh, 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 by some of these defiant uh, presidential candidates. So when you are covering someone with, with the procession, uh, out, someone who is outside of his uh, car roof, which are against the law, but you are there covering, then the police comes to disperse the crowd and they fire tear gas. How will Tia Gas say, uh, this one is a media man, this one is, how will it? The police have said they will not apologize to the journalists for the brutality meted against them in the past operations. Now, time will tell on how security is going to treat the journalists when they are carrying out operations during and after elections. But the public, especially the voters, have also been warned against staying around the polling stations after voting. And this comes on the heels of another warning from the Electoral Commission Chairperson Justice Biawakam on Wednesday when he was addressing media. He said in the event there is chaos at polling stations, the voting will be cancelled and that means all the candidates will lose the votes from that specific polling station. Sidil Biarhanga, NTV at police headquarters in Naguru.